going to go and um, we're in Nebicon, Switzerland, and today we are staying with uh, Candace's brother Elton. We're just he's just going to take us off on a uh, tour. We're going to Ballenberg. It is a historic museum on how the Swiss used to live. Uh, it's got a place on their farming, how they used to build their buildings, uh, and all traditional buildings. So we're going to go down. We're going to go and see it for the day. So we've just arrived in Ballenberg, or Ballenberg. Um, we've just driven in through mountains and tunnels and that's what it looks like. That is gorgeous. Hopefully I'll get more pictures, there's a few waterfalls further away. Well, actually I'll tell you what, there's a waterfall in the background if you can see that. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But, uh, so Ballenberg's been set up that it goes through the areas and the regions of uh, Switzerland. In the re each, in each individual area is a different region and uh, a different uh, year on when they were um, produced. I'm presuming on here it's saying 1872, so this would have been a traditional house in 1872, with a water wheel, and I take it inside would have been for milling. Then further up here we've got, I'll read some more on the board and then, then explain it a bit better. So um, bear with me. Yeah, this would have been used as a mill. So in here you've got, if the sun catches it, you've got how the wheel turns and all the other utensils and the stone and the milling stone all inside. So just reading up on the board here, so even a hundred years ago they were using strong ropes and fabrics and they were using hemp. I mean, this is... They've taken an old house and they've modernised it and apparently they do this all over Switzerland. So as you can see they've uh, taken the old house and they have reboarded all the inside of it and totally modernised it and then shown us what it looks like in some of these houses that they redo. So where we've just been into in Ballenberg is the only traditional renovated house. Um, I'll put in the description, well, it apparently it's cost up to 600,000 uh, Swiss francs to convert 
it's still got originals for the outside as you can see and uh, it's these views that are outstanding look at that We're just walking back to the car we spent the whole day at uh, Bellenberg or Ballenberg. It's uh, the backdrop of the scenery is amazing and also the heritage they've designed so much of the areas and tried keeping it all traditional. They've shown us uh, how they've farmed over the last sort of few hundred years all the traditional buildings they've got workshops they've got cheese making all traditional uh, and then not only is, is it uh, a massive place there's things for the kids to do there is the backdrop of the mountains um, that's breathtaking and the place is enormous we spent all day walking around it uh, it's, uh, there's, there's a lot to do